Hi and welcome to the second part of the splicing tutorial that we did about two weeks ago. Um, in this tutorial we're actually going to take the spliced Photoshop document and import it into Dreamweaver. I've already done that. And I'm going to show you how to add some functionality to your site. Alright, so basically what I've already done is uh, uploaded or uh, just opened up this uh, index.html file that we saved from the last tutorial and opened that up in Dreamweaver. And if you remember from the last tutorial, we had made all these these uh, slices, and you can see that each of those is kind of these are some of those slices that uh, just auto sliced. But we made some specific ones like the header, and you can see that now we can add functionality to that. And you can see that this uh, iPhone here, we can uh, add functionality to that, and then YouTube, stocks, and mail, we're going to add functionality to. Um, we've also got this here for a menu bar. So basically to start uh, start adding some functionality to this, uh, I'm just going to start with the iPhone because it's the biggest, uh, biggest thing here. So basically just click on any slice that you want so it's its own image and like you can delete that or do whatever you want with it. Uh, you could just use it as a placeholder. I'm just going to undo that. Um, you can change the size of the image down here. Um, you can add vertical or horizontal space, you can uh, link it, you can edit it again in Photoshop, you can optimize it for the web, crop it, all kinds of different things, brightness and contrast, if it just didn't come out quite how you wanted it to in Photoshop, you can either take it back in there or you can do some simple stuff here. Um, you can add a border to it, uh, you can align it however you want. So there's a lot of options you got here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to link this. So what we're going to do is link this to, um, let's say, iTunes.com. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you use the complete address. So that includes the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash iTunes.com. All right, so there you go, because you want to make sure you include that HTTP, because if you don't, then it'll just try and reference iTunes on your website and since you don't have iTunes on your website then it's not going to go anywhere and you're just going to get an error message so you got to make sure you have that HTTP so it lets Dreamweaver or it lets your website know that you want to go outside of your website to find this so that's where that's going to be linking to now I also wanted to oh as you can see here when I clicked off of this it added its own border so you can simply just get off of that. See, it has this blue around here. You can get that, get rid of that by just going to border and then typing in zero, and then the border's gone and everything's ship shape there. So what I'm going to do is actually put in my flash menu. It doesn't really fit with this site, but it's something that I had already made. Uh, so I'm just going to show you that in there. Uh, so basically, what I did with this pink, I kind of explained it in the last tutorial, was I'm just using it as a placeholder. So that that HTML is uh, already in there and it already is, um, it's going to have a spot for it. So basically just go in and delete that image. And I have over here, you can see all the images from my site right here, or this, uh, this particular uh, site that I made up. I have a flash menu. I'm just going to drag that over and into it. And if I click play, you can see that. And... What I'm going to do is actually center this, so I'm just going to highlight this and then click center. And so now my flash menu is a part of the site. So that's that's a good thing. Now I also said that I was going to add some functionality to this YouTube, uh, YouTube link here. So I'm just going to do There you go, youtube.com, and then, oh, i got to add a zero border on that so that it doesn't freak out. And then uh, stocks, let's make this go to Yahoo. So they have stock stuff. Put the border at zero, and let's do, let's also make Yahoo for mail. Oops, I just forgot that. One slash slash www.yahoo.com. All right, so there we go. Now we have all these. I'm gonna put the zero border. 
Um, now we have all these linked up and we have our flash inserted in here. And um, another thing you can actually do is if you wanted to uh, link one of these to another page, like say you wanted to link YouTube to another page on your website, you would actually, uh, you could either use this point to file thing, which is kind of cool. It's like, I don't know if you can see the line there, but it actually lets you uh, pick different uh, files and you can actually link it to a file or you can link it to uh, another HTML page or you could just uh, take and pull up this browse and search for it. Um, but I'm just going to show you linking today. Um, and another thing with these links you can do is uh, select like a target. Like uh, if you put it on blank it's going to open up a new window. Uh, if you put it on self then it's going to open up in the same window as your website. Uh, so I'm just going to put this on blank for these uh, because we don't want to have people leaving our website. We want that, that website to still be open. Um, so I'm just going to put it on blank uh, because if we put it on self, then it would they would stay uh, they would replace our website with YouTube or wherever it's uh, linked to. So we don't want that because we want people to stay on our website and come back to it. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. Uh, that shows some functionality on it, and uh, you normally have this link to your your home page here, but since it's not live, I'm, it would just show an error message when I click that. Uh, so I'm just going to do preview in browser to show you guys what this looks like. And yeah, you have to save in order to preview it in a browser. And hopefully when this comes up, it's the right size. All right. Um, so just uh, allow this block content. It only does that because it's not on a server and my computer is uh, it likes to block things like that so that, uh, so that we don't have a problem. Um, so basically you can see that our menus here and that's working fine and you can see that when I run over this it still says the stuff from the uh, other tutorial um, and when I click on this it will take me to iTunes it opened up a new window like I set it to in blank. So we're at iTunes there. Um, so I'm just going to show you uh, the stocks here. So it'll actually, uh, since we put the HTTP, it'll pull it into another window. And yeah, Yahoo right here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see that the menu is going right here. It's not actually linked up to anything um, because there's nothing really to link to. This is the only page of the site. Um, so there you go. That's how you uh, take and put your uh, sliced PSD and uh, Dreamweaver and then give it some functionality so you can uh, make a website. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I want you guys to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.